Hi everyone, welcome back. You are watching Math with Anila. In today's class, let's study about the removal of brackets. In a complex expression, many types of brackets are used. Most commonly used brackets are the first one, this is the small brackets or it's also known as the parenthesis. And this is the curly bracket and this is the square bracket and the last one is the vinculum. Now let's see the order of removal of brackets. Whenever these brackets are used, on what order can we remove the bracket and complete the operations? If there are all the four brackets together in a single expression, first we have to remove the vinculum. Then next is the small bracket. Then after that the curly brackets and last is the square bracket. This is the order you have to remove the brackets. Now then these three brackets are used in any expression. First we have to remove the small bracket, then the curly bracket and finally the square bracket to be removed. And whenever we have these two brackets in any expression, we have to remove the small bracket first and then the flower bracket. If there is a plus sign before the bracket, the bracket is removed without changing the sign of the terms inside the bracket. If there is a minus sign before a bracket, the bracket is removed by changing the sign of each term inside the bracket. Let's see in a sum. Here in this question, there is a plus sign before the bracket. So as I have told you, when you remove this bracket, the terms will remain as it is. There will not be any change of the signs of the terms. That is 2 plus 3 minus 5 will be as it is. Then you can simplify and find the answer. 5 minus 5 will be 0 will get in this case. And as I have told you, when there is a negative sign before the bracket, each term inside the bracket should be multiplied with the minus sign or the sign to be changed. So this becomes minus a plus b minus c. This is your final answer what you are getting. And consider the next one. In this case also, this there is a negative term outside the bracket and then you are removing this bracket. You have to change the sign of each term. So what we will get in this case, you have to multiply each term with minus 2. Your answer will be minus 6a plus 10b minus 2c. This is what you are getting. Let's understand this by solving few sums. Consider the first question. 10 minus 4 minus of 5 minus 2. See, here we have small bracket as well as the curly bracket. First, as we have discussed earlier, first we have to remove this small bracket. So first, let's simplify the terms inside it and then we will uh, remove the bracket. So 10 minus 4 minus 5 minus 2 is 3 here. Now let's remove this flower bracket or the curly brackets. 4 minus 3 is 1. And since uh, there is a negative sign here, this will be the minus 1. Then that is equal to 9. This is your answer. Look at the next question. Here we have all the four brackets. Vinculum, small bracket, curly bracket, as well as the square bracket. Let's simplify this. So the first thing, as per the order, we have to remove this vinculum. So you will be getting this as 30 minus 26 minus of 15 plus in small bracket 8 minus. This will be 6 minus 3. 6 minus 3 will be 3. And that's equal to 30 minus, you will write 26 minus so 15 plus, now let's remove this small bracket, 8 minus 3 is 5. That's equal to 30 minus, then 26 minus 15 plus 5 is 20. See, there is a minus sign, so the term will be minus here. So that is equal to 30 minus 26 minus 20 is 6. So the final answer will be 24. This is how you have to remove each bracket. Now consider this question. Here we have small bracket, vinculum as well as the curly brackets. So as per the order, we have to first simplify the terms inside the vinculum. So let's see this. So 35 minus 15 plus 14 minus of 13 plus. Now we look at the terms inside the vinculum 2 minus 1 plus 3. So 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 plus 3 is 4. Here you will be getting this as 4. 
the close the bracket. Then the next step is 35 minus 15 plus 14 minus of 13 plus 4 is 17 here. Simplify it again. You will get this as 15 plus 14 minus 17. Add these to 15 plus 14. You will get this as 29 minus 17. That's equal to 20, 35 minus 29 minus 17 is 12. When you subtract 12 from 35, you will get your answer as 23. This is the answer. What you are getting when you simplify this particular expression. Now these questions are for you. You can solve it and let me know the answer. That's all for today. We'll meet in the next class with few more sums of the same topic. Thank you.